I think everyone was surprised to learn that Cleo and Deuce were breaking up in the new generation of Monster High. And that left a question for everyone. If they were no longer a couple, who would Deuce date? We got the answer when the movie came out, that Deuce and Claudine were now an item. In reflection, this makes a lot of sense. When we first heard about the breakup, it was likely that one of the main characters was going to be Deuce's new girlfriend, or potential girlfriend. We knew it couldn't be Cleo because they just broke up and that would make no sense to turn around and get them back together. Next, there could be Laguna, but Laguna is already in a core relationship with Gil, so Laguna is out. Then it could be Draculara, but Draculara is also in a core relationship with Claude, and it was very likely, unlikely the toy makers would want to break up another power couple. There's Frankie, but Frankie has two love interests in Jackal and Holt Hyde. That means there's only one person left from the core group, which they were likely to choose a new love interest from. Claudine is an interesting choice for him to date because for a lot of fans, they were looking for representation that Claudine could be a lesbian, but this never came to be, even though the creators around Monster Hive said that some characters were meant to be coded or to be out representation for the LGBTQ plus community, but none of this came to be probably for fear of a homophobic backlash, which is a real shame that they never came with a character that was out because Monster High is all about being yourself and they even sell rainbow pride merch. So in the end, it only made sense that Claudine, not being the representation that most people wanted, was the last of the main characters to be open for a new relationship. So that's why we probably should have seen Deuce and Claudine coming. What do you think? Do you like Deuce and Claudine, or did you like Deuce and Cleo? Personally, from the movie, I think that Claudine and Deuce are really cute, and I think it's a better representation of a relationship, because Cleo and Deuce always seemed, at least from the cartoons, to have a toxic relationship.